Hello, my name is Esteban Ariola, and I'm your host for the September edition of Inside the NCAA. With many major reforms taking hold in college athletics, a number of key rule changes are now in effect for students returning to campus this fall. NCAA.org provides a roadmap for these changes with the nine ways life is changing for college athletes. The Division I Council will convene at the National Office for its fall meeting, looking to further the course for the division. The meeting will include the next steps to advance the 12 principles from the Division I Strategic Summit. The Division II Student Athlete Advisory Committee joined the nationwide campaign to stop sexual assault. SAC teamed up with the Management Council to create an It's On Us video and will feature the video throughout this academic year. Other items to be aware of include the National Labor Relations Board dismissed the union petition put forward by former football players at Northwestern. Division I tennis will move to no ad scoring for all men's and women's tennis championships starting in 2016. And minority administrators participated in the 7th Division II Governance Academy. In other news, the NCAA announced the top 30 honorees for Woman of the Year Award. This list will be narrowed down to nine finalists three from each division. The winner will be announced on October 18th. For more information on these stories and how the NCAA is supporting student-athlete success, visit NCAA.org.